morning everyone happy saturday it is currently 9 5 a.m oh, please focus saturday 13th of april and i thought i would film like a bookish weekend in my life kind of vlog because i don't really have too many plans this weekend most of my plans are going to consist around reading, sort of cozy family time. I'm going to go see my mom and my sister tonight and we're going to have a little sleepover. And when us three hang out, like we're all avid readers, so we tend to like sit together and read. And then tomorrow I'm going to do more reading. <laughs> we're going to go to like this sort of painting class. Like you can choose a mug or a vase or whatever you want and you can paint it. It's just going to be like a super cozy bookish kind of vlog. Those are usually my favorite things to watch on YouTube and they tend to also be my favorite things to film. I just made myself a little latte at home. Should we do a taste test? Oh. Mm -hmm. Why is there a hair on my cup? <laughs> so I am currently reading His and Hers by Alice Feeney. This is a psychological thriller. Also how cute is my Kindle? I've recently like changed the stickers up and I just love it. The no plot, just vibes. I also love this one, the Fueled by Ice Coffee and Anxiety one. I just think my stickers look really cute. At first I thought they looked really bad, but the more I look at them, I think they're so cute. I love this one, the Take Me to the Bookshop one, the Luke's from Gilmore Girls. It makes me so happy every time I pick it up. This is so good, by the way. I started this Thursday night, I believe. It's on Kindle Unlimited, by the way. I'm currently on page... I'm on page 69 and so far, so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. I haven't read a psychological thriller in a hot minute. So I'm really enjoying kind of like jumping back into this genre. It's just so bingeable. Like it just makes you wanna read and read and read. However, I do think I'm gonna pick out another book to read this morning just because this book is potentially gonna be like a little bit darker, I can't tell. And I just don't think I'm in the mood for that this morning. I'm feeling like a little bit fluffy, a little bit happy, a little bit light. And I don't want to bring that down with like a scary vibe. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I do think I'm gonna pick out another book. Oftentimes I do read two books at once. It's just what I like, especially if they're two different genres. It just kind of keeps things a bit fresh. So we'll pick out another book to read this morning, but we'll pick it out from my April TBR because I'm really trying to stick to it. Come with me. This right here is just my general TBR, um, but there's only a few books left. There's about like five books left that I need to read in April for my TBR. So we've got Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, which I think I'm going to lean towards this one. I also have Girl with a Pearl Earring on my April TBR. Also have Bee Treat by Emily Henry on my April TBR, as well as Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. So I'm going to start Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is not normally a genre I love to read, like contemporary romance. I love romance, fantasy romance, historical romance, but something about contemporary romance where it's like super tropey and like super smutty not typically my genre but i'll give it a go we'll see how we go uh i don't know much about her i just know she's an ice skater he's an ice hockey player and i think her ice skating partner gets injured and then he steps into place even though he's a hockey player and that's kind of all i know about it and yeah we will give it a go i'm actually excited i think it'll be nice to read like a sort of more fluffy well i don't know if this will be fluffy <laughs> but just a kind of more like romance not really intense plot kind of book do you know what i mean so we will give this one a go summer by taylor swift and they expect me just to listen to this and read no i'm gonna dance and sing along maybe i can't do this i need songs that i don't know because as soon as they play songs that i know like i'm gonna sing along and then i can't even read the words on paper
Hello! So reading update. I read quite a bit this morning. It is now 10.54 a.m. and I managed to read 110 pages. So I'm now on chapter 13. I just finished having breakfast and <laughs> this is a super easy book to read. Like the way that I just flew through over 100 pages this morning kind of just shows you how easy it is to fly through. I just don't know if this is the book for me and I'm not going to DNF it, at least not like a hard DNF. I might softly DNF it and come back to it in like a couple of days when I'm maybe more in the mood or something. I just, um, there's something about very surface based kind of shallow lusty books that don't do it for me like i'm just like where it like there's no really great plot there's no incredible like romance there's no like character development there's just nothing for me to really hold on to <laughs> and if you love books like this you know we all have different reading tastes everyone is different just for me personally i know in my heart that these kind of books they just don't do it for me. They don't make me love reading. I'm not really like fully in the story when I'm reading it. It kind of is just like words on paper to me. Um, and that's like not the point of reading for me. The point of reading for me is to like immerse myself in a book and fall in love and love the characters, yada, yada, yada. It's just, it's fine. Like it's, it's a decent read. So far, it's kind of feeling like a three star for me. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just, meh. Um, so I'm just gonna put this down for now as you will see I am quite a big mood reader because I love to read and I hate to read books that I'm not really enjoying I'm just like what's the point so I do want to pick up a book that I know I'm gonna really enjoy and it is also on my April TBR and I know I'm gonna enjoy it because I've read it before so one of my April TBR jar prompts was to reread a book i think it was reread one of my favorite books or just reread a book i can't remember but the book that i chose when i did that challenge is <laughs> magnolia parks by jessa hastings now these are both romances right but i love this one this one is just I don't know, there's a bit more depth to it in my opinion and I love the writing. I think the biggest difference for me is that this writing to me is super lyrical whereas this writing to me just kind of falls flat. <laughs> so I'm super excited to be reading this and I'm actually going to be rereading it and going back into it because when I first read this, I read it over the span of two days when I was like away on holiday and I didn't have my pen with me and I also didn't have my tabs with me. And you guys, the amount of beautiful lines in this book that I've just been desperate to go back and read and like annotate and underline is insane. So that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> it's very Gossip Girl set in London, but I just love it. I love Jessa Hastings writing. And honestly, I think the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. And that's okay if you don't get it, but I'm so happy that I get it. <laughs>
You guys can talk, I put music over this. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm home now. Well, not my home. I'm at mum's home with my sister and I'll show you the book that I got. I just got one book because I'm going to be doing like a big Amazon bookshop in the next week. I'm going to buy like 15 books. I'm going to go a little bit crazy. So you'll see that video soon. Um, but I got this book and I'll tell you why. So I got, well, let me take the sticker off. But I hate stickers. So I got The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Tolkien? Yeah, Tolkien. <laughs> and the reason I got this is because I'm actually going to Hobbiton in two weeks. So I live in New Zealand, so Hobbiton is like a two hour drive from where I live. And if you don't know, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings were filmed in New Zealand. And I'm so ashamed to say this, but I've never watched Lord of the Rings. I've never read Lord of the Rings. I've never watched The Hobbit or read The Hobbit. And I thought it'd be quite fun to read The Hobbit. And then when I go visit The Hobbiton, I can record my reading experience with this as well as seeing Hobbiton. So I thought it'd be quite fun. And I do want to read a book by J.R.R. Tolkien just because it's one of the biggest authors in the world. And I just think it'll be like a really nice reading experience, very adventurous, very fun. And I just want to kind of experience his writing. So I'm super excited to read this. It's also quite small. Like, let me show you. <clears throat> like this is a normal size book. Like it's little. Do you see? So I feel like it'll be quite easy to fly through and it'll just be like a fun sort of whimsical adventurous book. So yeah, this is the book that I got. We came home, we watched Desperate Housewives, made some coffee, ate our pastries, had a really nice cozy sort of afternoon. I just did some reading. So I'd read the first like 12 pages of Magnolia Parks and I've already started tabbing it. You'll see that in the next clip, um, but I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I just love the story i don't know why it just scratches a part of my brain it just makes me so happy i brought this book over for my sister because she's reading the infernal devices because i'm getting my mom and my sister to both read them so i brought clockwork princess over for my sister to read she just finished clockwork prince and she's loving it mom is currently listening to clockwork prince the audiobook she's almost finished so they have no idea what's in store for them when they read this book emotional damage but anyways, I'm just going to chill and do some more reading now. My sister's bow is. Oh. <laughs> and look at mom's headband. Mom, show your headband. It's so cute. It's got little bumblebees on it.
my favorite thing about being at mug's house is this drawer of mugs like it's so much fun we're about to have decaf coffee now and it's just so fun picking out which mug you're gonna use like do i want this little mr happy guy do i want do i want this one that says i drink as much coffee as the gilmore girls do i want the slytherin one or the hobbit one this one's from gilmore girls luke's it's just so fun because they're all different and it's just i don't know i love picking out which one i'm gonna use for that day whenever i go over to mom's house hey guys reading update so i'm now on page I'm now on page 73 of Magnolia Parks. I am really, really, really loving it. I don't know if you can see, but I am tabbing it and I'm just really, really enjoying reading it the second time. So many good lines, so many good quotes in it. I just love it. Um, we just got home from like this sort of painting, crafty sort of session where you get to choose what you wanna paint. So there's mugs, vases, there's like little gnomes you can paint, so many little like jewelry trinkets, so many things. Um, and then you go pick it up in two weeks once they glaze it. So it'll, it will look a lot better in two weeks once it's kind of like shiny and the colors will pop. Um, we're all just going to have a decaf coffee and do some reading together. So just a really chill Sunday evening. Oh, It's my book. <laughs> But we 